Guy, Mary Belletza asks, Guy, what was the single most important piece of advice that you received and followed that was critical to your success? Um, it's it's a great question. I received so much advice um, during my time. I think the most important piece of advice that I have have received um, and have really followed is listen. You know, my superpower is not my intelligence. I'm not I'm not more intelligent than you. Than you. I'm not, you know, more connected. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just very curious, and that's a choice that we can all make. I think curiosity is much more important than intelligence because if you're curious, your mind is open and you're willing to learn from everybody you meet. And that's that's actually a piece of advice I got early on, which was and, – and I'm sure, sure you've heard a version of this, which is surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. And, and every person you encounter is an opportunity to learn, You know, is an opportunity to grow to, and – I, I am who I am today because of the people I met in college and in, in and after that and before that and my wife and all these inputs, all these brilliant people. The music I listen to today heavily influenced by people I met in college, you know, the the ideas in my mind. So that's one of them. The other thing is listening. Listening is a superpower that we all have the capacity to develop. Most of us spend our time, too much of our time talking. But listening to somebody is honoring them, and it it's it can be one of the most powerful ways to develop a relationship, to convince somebody if you're having a debate, just by listening, by acknowledging their ideas, by actively listening, and by asking questions. You know, based on the things that they're telling you. That's what I do and how I built this, and that is why I'm able to to get people to really open up because really all I'm doing is using my emotional energy to listen to them. And that's been really valuable in my career. I wanna talk a bit more about that. Um, and and uh, and have you talk about the active listening and authentic listening that you do, because I think it's it's one of the reasons so many of us listen to the podcast. I, I read, and I think I um, listened to you uh, tell Tim Ferriss on a, on a podcast that when people come on uh, or agree to come on How I Built This, you say to them, I'm going to be, uh, are you willing to answer anything? Are you willing to quote surrender? And have you, have you had folks who agree to that and then say, I, 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 I'm not sure I can do this. Well, I'm very careful at being very explicit in what I mean when I have a, a phone call with them. I want them to say no at that point. And because it's always, these are always off the record conversations. I'm not going to tell you the people who have not agreed to come on the show. It's not many, but um, but but we part as friends. Um, I'm not there to embarrass them. I want them to understand that 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 how I built this and their story will not land in the same way. Will not have the same emotional resonance and impact if it's a a, a, a you know a, if they're plugging something or if it's a, a a polished publicity event. It has to be real. It has to be authentic. The reason why, Larry, you listen to the show and I listen to the show because I'm a listener too is because I don't want to hear Howard Schultz talk about the success of Starbucks. I want to hear him talk about his personal anguish. I want him to hear him talk about his dad and his dad's, you know, alcoholism. And I want to hear, you know, I want to hear people talk about moments when they felt alone and abandoned and um, because that's when we connect with them. That's when we say, you know, holy smokes, like I am like Howard Schultz or Sarah Blakely or Tristan Walker. They're, they're like me. You know, I, I, the person who invented Ring, Airbnb, Uber, um, not Uber, um, Lyft, you know, um, they have vulnerabilities too. And so that's, that's very important. I need that person to come onto the show willing to take us into their in, internal di, you know, dialogue or monologue. We're all – you know, we all live in our own movies. You live in your movie. I live in mine. All of you watching live in yours. That's consciousness. We walk around. We look left and right. It's our story, right? It's our point of view. I'm What I'm trying to do on the show is get a seat in the cockpit of that person's brain, kind of like in Star Wars you know, or in Star Trek, and bring you along with me. You're in the passenger seat with me, all three and a half million of you. Really, you are. And we're trying to see your story and your flaws too because your flaws are part of what make you you no one is perfect and the whole point of how i built this is to show that these people that 
are so successful and have done so well in business are just like you. They're imperfect. They're flawed. They made a lot of mistakes, a lot of stupid mistakes, but they worked really hard and they got really lucky and they persevered.